Y'all, they told me she was a bad dog. I mean, what we got in this pan right now is like... Magic. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> I feel like I have mascara. Like, I can't even see out of my eyelashes. Okay, y'all. So, Daisy Mae and I are getting in the car. I'm taking her to get her hair cut. We actually leave on Monday for Savannah. We're taking a week long vacation in the RV. We're so excited. We're gonna stay at Creek Fire again, which y'all know that's like one of our favorite campgrounds. If you haven't stayed there yet and you have an RV, you need to. But anyway, um, funny story, even whenever we lived in North Carolina, um, we would plan Daisy Mae's haircuts around us coming to the beach because we love the place we take her in North Myrtle so much. They're always so good and her haircut always looks really good from there. So anyway, whenever we moved here, I was like, you know what? I'm still gonna make the 45 minute drive to North Myrtle to take her to the same place because we love it. So also it doesn't hurt <laughs> that it's in the same parking lot right beside Hobby Lobby and we don't have a Hobby Lobby here and seriously, I have been missing it. Plus my favorite home goods, my favorite Walmart, my favorite TJ Maxx, like, Let's all be honest. I still want to be able to go do all my shopping too. So it just works out perfect. So anyway, we're getting in the car. We're going to go to North Myrtle, drop her off, do some shopping. I'm sure we'll make some dinner tonight. All the things. So let's go ahead and get going. Okay, y'all. So I'm actually at the condo. I got Daisy Mae dropped off. I almost ran out of gas. I was literally on zero. My car said you have zero miles to empty. My heart was pounding. My hands were shaking. My legs were shaking. I could barely like press the gas pedal. I was so nervous, but I knew I was like super close to the gas station. I ended up making it there. Thank goodness. I went and got Chick-fil-A. Just sat here at the condo, ate my lunch, did some work. So now I'm ready to go do some shopping. I'm so excited excited. I cannot wait to go to Hobby Lobby. Y'all, I know you probably don't even believe this, but I have not been to Hobby Lobby since January. It has been forever. So I am so pumped. So let's get to it. Okay, popping in here to let y'all know that today's video is a collab with my friend Jess Daltrey. Jess does a lot of day in the life videos over on her channel. She does cooking and cleaning and recipes and grocery hauls, decorating, all the things. So I know you guys will love her. She is a mom of four. She has the most precious kiddos. So I will definitely leave her channel and her video linked down below for you guys. So be sure you head over there, check her out and subscribe to her channel and tell her that I sent you. Okay, now back to shopping. Okay. 
Okay, y'all, so I just left Hobby Lobby. Walmart had the cutest stuff. I was so impressed. So many good dresses for spring. I'll show y'all what I got once I get home. I did go into Home Goods. I didn't film anything for this video. I did film a little reel for my Instagram. So if you follow me there, I'm sure you'll see it. And then, okay, I'm pretty sure my camera died, like me mid sentence talking to y'all. But I'm back home now. I went and got Daisy finally. It was taken all day. And I'm like, what is taking so long? Y'all, they told me she was a bad dog. They gave her a bad report card. I was like, excuse me, not my Daisy May. But apparently she had some tangles and they were trying to brush them out and she was not having it. So it took longer. We have her. She's good to go. <laughs> anyway, I just got back. I want to show y'all what I got at Walmart. And then I was going to tell you guys about Hobby Lobby. Um, I did not get anything in there. And... I still love Hobby Lobby, but because our style for this house is so different, most of the time when I go in there now, which I haven't been in a long time, but it's like I don't see as many things that I want just because it doesn't fit this vibe. Like the stuff is still so pretty, so don't come for me. <laughs> But it's just like not this style. So anyway, okay, I'm so pumped about these because y'all probably know I like live in my Birkenstock sandals. They look bad. I like wear them almost every single day. And I was telling Bunky like, I think I'm just going to invest in another pair. But y'all know they're kind of expensive. So I saw these at Walmart. They were like less than $17. And they look identical to Birkenstocks. And they're so pretty. I love the white and the gold, y'all. These are gorgeous. I will try and find a link for you and link them down below. You getting good angles, B? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Show us that side strap. Okay, side. Oh, They're so wow. good. It's like alternating. Yeah, so pretty. Oh, guess what? Ooh. I got you a surprise. Oh, thank you so much. Ooh, Let's see. Bunky. Hold on, hold on. Who do, we, who do we got here? We got the... These are different. Oh, the, okay. Okay. New series. Haven't seen this one yet. I, I didn't think you had, but who are you most excited? Because I think that I want you to get the little chili pepper or... That, that's the only one that I could really identify that quickly. But Oh, the little raccoon though. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, what's the little bird? You see um, it? Oh, yeah. Like a, tuc a toucan. Yes. There's some cute ones in there. So. Yeah. That would actually... I would, I would, I a would, toucan would be perfect for yeah. us. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you can open it in a second. Okay. 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 Wow, the toucan can rest on your shoulder with that dress. Yes. Y'all, this dress is just so pretty. The colors are gorgeous. I think I got it kind of wrinkled. But also, I love this like stretchy top up here because it'll be very um, comfortable and forgiving. And I like that the strap is kind of thicker, so it kind of holds it up better. But this was just so pretty. I mm -hmm. had to get it, so... Got that. Y'all know I was not leaving that store you're without this. You're, atta you're yeah. attached to the... Oh, there you go. Okay. It's beautiful. Let me just do this. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. This dress. First of all, the colors, the pattern. Gorgeous, bright, fun. I love. The sleeve is like ruffly, but you can wear it on or off your shoulder, okay? Oh. So like Easter Sunday, if you want to wear this to church with some cute little sandals, perfect. If Friday night you want to wear it for date night with your boo, a little off the shoulder, okay? Mm -hmm. It's it, a good dress. If you go into a garden party after Easter. Yes! So cute, y'all. I just love it. And it's floor, well not floor length, but kind of like mid-calf. You see? Mm -hmm. It's good. Such a cute dress. I, I just, I love it so much. And they had it in a couple different um, patterns. Hopefully I got it on camera. I think I did. But... So that's everything that I got at Walmart and then at Home Goods, I found this beautiful rug. And um, I'll show you guys once I get it all finished, but Bunky finally put his desk together and he gave me mine back. And so I'm like decorating my little nook in our bedroom, like my little makeup area. It's so cute. And I just think that there should be like a little rug underneath there. A, it's more comfortable, but also with like my chair, it's better to have something underneath you know, than just a floor. And this rug is the perfect colors. It was just calling out to you. It ha I was like, this is going home with me. So anyway, that's all my purchases for today. I had so much fun. Um, Bunky is going to open up his little thing. Yep. We were going to make dinner. We're still not sure. On the fence about it It's now. been a long day. So if we don't, then I will probably make it tomorrow night. And then I'll add it into this video. All right. Let's see here. Oh, I would I would take the the acorn top guy. 
That's oh, cool. he's cool, yeah. Oh, we got a uh, do old school fella here playing a... Uh, the banjo. Like a banjo type instrument. Yes. Um, Are we ready? We're ready. What's it going to be? I don't know. The suspense is killing me. Which one is it? Um, it looks like a green-headed lady. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I don't... Let's just, let's put her together. I don't even see her on here. Well, they don't put everybody on the front. Oh, okay. Well, you got, see. I think, on the note. But anyway, she's she's bad. She you is, like her? She's a bad lady right here. Ooh. She's going to keep me safe from you. From me? Mm-hmm. Bonky. Are you going to put her on your new desk? Well, I haven't, I haven't put everybody on there yet. Oh, where are all your... Many Lego figures. I have them up there. I, I just haven't. Uh, well, you haven't displayed them. Well, yet. I didn't decorate the old unit, the old new desk. That's yours. Oh, because you had to give it to me eventually. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. She's she's all put together. Wow. Okay, and there you have it. Super cool. Okay, so we ended up having leftovers for dinner last night. They were really, really good. But he and I made our favorite little chicken and rice casserole the night before. Y'all, that recipe, if you have not tried it, is so good. I'll try to remember to link that video in my description box for y'all. Um, and I'm going to do a blog post on it. So that recipe will be on my blog here soon. But anyway, so we're going to make our casserole today. I'm so excited. This is like right up my bunkie's alley. He's going to be obsessed. We're going to do a beef and cheese enchilada casserole. Legit. It's going to be so good. Very few ingredients, very simple. Let me show you what's going inside of it. Okay, so of course we have our ground beef. You're gonna need a can of Rotel, a can of enchilada sauce, a packet of taco seasoning, some flour tortillas, cream cheese, and then Mexican style cheese. That's it. So easy. First things first, we gotta get this ground beef going, and you guys know who makes the best taco meat in this house. This guy. That guy right there. <laughs> And we're just gonna brown it like normal, drain our grease, add our taco seasoning, then I'll tell you what's next. Okay. <laughs> Okay, taco meat is cooked. Bunky has made his separation so he can spoon out his grease in his grease jar. One of y'all actually told me that you started doing your grease like this too. So Bunky, look at you. Be a little trendsetter. Changing the world. Yes. Is there where most people are like, would you just put some paper towels in there and stuff that? <laughs> no way. This is, uh, this is the best way to get it out. You get the most of it, you know? Yes. Okay, so once you've got it greased, you're going to add your water in just like normal. Add in your taco seasoning. You can see my cream cheese over there. I have it sitting out and kind of warming as the oven warms. And then once we get this stirred in, we're going to add in our rotel and our enchilada sauce. This look, I mean, what we got in this pan right now is like... Magic. I could probably just eat it with a spit. <laughs> Monkey, I'm so excited because you're going to love this recipe this so like much. So many of my favorite things right here. Yes. Okay, so we're just going to let this kind of simmer for about five minutes and get like heated throughout. Yeah, I just had a crazy idea. What? What if you took like Velveeta... Oh my god. And gosh. put enchilada sauce in it. And like ground beef. Like, you know how you make queso? Yeah. Like the cheese dip, the sausage rotel cheese dip? Yes. We should try and make like a crock pot cheese dip, Velveeta mm. enchilada ground beef. Taco Experiment. Thing. We're ne doing this. Ne next time we're having, you know, that kind of dip. Yes. We're gonna, let's try and remember to. We're going to. Change it up a little bit. Okay. Let me grab my cream cheese over here. Watch your, watch your shirt. Watch Ooh, your shirt. thank you. Okay, good. It's nice and soft. Okay, so I have my pan laid out over here just so that it's like a big surface and easy to work on. And then I have my tortillas laid out and you want to make sure you get the taco size. So they're like the six inch. So we're going to take a little bit of our softened cream cheese. So you definitely want to make sure this is softened. And we're going to take a little bit and smear it on each one. And then on top of that, 
add <laughs> our Mexican cheese and then we're going to fold these up and this is gonna be like the layers in our casserole. Okay, then fold it over just like that. And you're gonna wanna make like probably eight to 10 of these. The more the better in my opinion. The more the better. I would say at least 10. Okay. Okay, so I did 10 all together. I have them here and then our sauce is ready. So what we're gonna do first is put half of that in the bottom of our baking dish, mm -hmm. top it with our quesadillas and the other half, okay? And, and then, I'm letting you do it. And then top it with cheese. Of course, yes. <laughs> but I want you to pour this because I'm nervous. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll just. You gonna pour it or are you gonna do it? Well, I was thinking about spooning it, but. Maybe you should spoon it. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I got this. Okay, funky. Please don't make a mess. All right, we're go we're going for half here. Pretty much half, yeah. I'm gonna be quick about it so we get a nice even okay. distribution. Okay. Perfect. That's good. Yes. Oh, funky. I love it. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna use the the shimmy method here. Yeah, shimmy is out. That is straight perfection. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're just gonna lay our tortillas down. Maybe we should do like back to back. What if we do just a little overlap? Oh, okay. Like that. Oh, I like it. Perfect. We still have three more. Um, oh, well maybe we should tighten this up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, we're one shy. You know what you can do? I don't know. Oh, yes. quesadilla. Quesadilla. <laughs> we'll heat it up. It'll be like our snack while this is in the oven. Okay, pour the rest of our mixture on top. Okay. This is gonna be a little trickier, I think, because we want to get like full coverage, you know? Yes. I love how Bunky is so precise. He's making sure every nook and cranny is covered. <laughs> and you know, a little crispy edge on that tortilla. Oh, that's true. Isn't gonna hurt anything. That is so true. This okay. is amazing looking. I know. I literally cannot wait. This might be like one of our best recipes ever. Mm. Okay, now we're just gonna use the rest. The rest of that in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, use the rest of your cheese on top, and then we're gonna cover it with tinfoil. Okay, then this is going to the oven at 350 for like 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, I have to tell you all the sweetest thing. I just um, went outside and I realized we had two packages on the front porch. So I brought them in and one of them was Target. I knew what was in there. And the other one I was like, what is this? And I couldn't see on the box like where it was from, but it was addressed to me. So I opened it up and I realized it's like a package from Kendra Scott. And I'm like, did I get PR? from Kendra Scott and I'm like this is so crazy I did not order anything and so I keep opening it and I see on the um like packaging slip it says bill to Brian O'Donohue mm -hmm. I'm gonna cry again <laughs> my sweet bonky got me Kendra Scott for my birthday my birthday isn't for a couple weeks but it was supposed to be a surprise and I was not supposed to see her open <laughs> it <laughs> I did, but that was just the sweetest thing, B. Well, happy early birthday, Bonk. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Do you wanna see it? You wanna see it? Okay. It's a necklace. And it has like a jersey stone. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I mean, that was the sweetest thing ever. I was planning on sneaking this on our trip to Savannah. Oh, that would have been so sweet. But you got your little hands on it just a little early. <laughs> Sorry. I look at how mascara, like, I can't even see out of my eyelashes. Well, don't be disappointed when there's no more surprises <laughs> to come. Oh boy. Oh boy is right. Wow, this looks so good. Pop it back in there and get the top of it. Yeah, let's pop it. Okay, 
I agree. <clears throat> We're gonna pop it back in there for just like three or four minutes and get this cheese a little bit more melted. Oh yeah. Uh, oh wowzers, yeah. I think that was a good idea. I'm gonna put the broiler on for just a second and we left it uncovered. This is going to be mouthwateringly, amazingly incredible. Yeah, we have to just, you know, probably wait like 10 minutes now. Oh gosh, no, please no. <laughs> we have to, Bonk, we have to. We can't get into that yet. Yeah. It's so pretty. Bonky, you did so good. I cannot believe you put this out yourself. It's like double layered. Uh-huh. Oh, I love it. It looks so good. That's what sold me on it. You did so good picking this out. I knew that those, the double layer was, was the way to go. Way to go, for sure. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, I just love you. This will pinch you. Here we go. Oh, yes. Y'all, give me a little side profile here. Uh, this is going to be so good, Bonk. Okay, touche. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say I got you some shredded lettuce. Like oh, some iceberg. Did? Yeah, if yeah. you want to put on top. And then you guys can top this with like jalapeno, salsa, sour cream, all of your favorite goodies. You know I'm bringing some uh, jalapenos to the yes. party. Oh, I'm gonna get some tapatio. Do you want the lettuce? Yes, that's my yes. favorite. All of our HelloFresh, woohoo! I mean, have you ever seen something more beautiful? Okay, we gotta eat this. I am so excited. Going in with just the pure, no sour cream, no jalapeno for first bite. Okay, that's the idea. It's amazing. That's very satisfying, very good. So I, the camera's probably moving everywhere because I'm trying to get a bite and film Bunky. <laughs> oh man. If you love Mexican food, you love tacos, you love all of the above. Mm, I want some sour cream with mine too. Here's another sour cream with jalapeno <laughs> bite. I'm gonna have to exert some self-control <laughs> to leave that behind. Yes. Let's not forget about this one. Yes, for sure. And very simple to make. Oh yeah, that was so easy. We love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Don't forget to check out Jess's channel. I will have it linked down below. Be sure you subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up. I love you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.